Hello, Crypto Caesar, Crypto Caesar Capital. Hope you're well. 20th of March update on uh, Bitcoin. So we've had a really decent, um, really good, powerful move here uh, and a closure on this weekly candle uh, just below uh, the resistance line at 28K. So uh, that's a really decent, convincing move there. And it's just kind of sitting underneath uh, this kind of important uh, resistance area, which was once support back in uh, the summer of 21. Uh, and really, this is where Bitcoin needs to uh, break above. Breaking above this area here of resistance is going to be a really, really strong sign for Bitcoin. Um, and as I said um, uh, in one of my tweets the other day, I mean, that pretty much opens the door for, you know, 40K, 40K plus, really, uh, with Bitcoin. But generally speaking, it's just now sitting under this area of uh, resistance. Uh, so the question is, is it going to just consolidate underneath resistance and then go for uh, a break above it? Or is it going to uh, pull back a little bit? If it pulls back, um, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. I mean, I've got my eye on the 200 week moving average, uh, which is down around about kind of 20, 25.7. Um, but yeah, the, the, the real question at the moment is, is it going to consolidate here under resistance and go, or um, is it going to pull back to the 200 week, uh, then uh, go uh, for the 29.2 kind of area. Uh, but really this area here um, is uh, super important to break. So once we get above there, it would be good to consolidate under there and then go for um, a further move. Uh, as you know, um, my target still remains to be um, about uh, 50K, um, which is the 786 and the FIB. So it's just about up here, about 48, 50K, but we shall see how we get on with it. The narrative at the moment for Bitcoin is uh, super strong. Uh, so we shall see how we get on. Um, also, uh, technically speaking, um, we now have a... Um, confirmed uh, inverse head and shoulders. Uh, so um, this is something I spoke about in a few of my past videos. So let's have a look. So we've got the left shoulder here, decent volume. Uh, we have uh, the head, again, good volume. Uh, and then we have uh, the right shoulder. Okay, as I said in the last video, it looks a bit thin, but to be honest, it was good enough, had enough volume. Uh, so technically speaking, now we have um, confirmation of an inverse head and shoulders and the technical target for uh, this is about 38K. Um, yeah, about 38K. So um kind of makes sense okay so that's a decent move to the upside Let, let's see what happens I, I i think you know bitcoin's a bit over um bought at the moment so we could be looking at some form of pullback but as i said a moment ago the narrative um is super strong quickly looking at um market dominance of stable coins i'm looking at usdt still there are lots of people sidelined lots and lots of people caught with their pants down thinking Bitcoin was going to go to 10K, sitting, waiting to take a position. And they're just, they, they don't know what to do at the moment. They're in a bit of a flap, but I can see um, this is technically breaking down now uh, and it's going to test, I think about 5.3%, then maybe 4.9. And then the next level under that's about 4.3. So there's going to be a breakdown. I think it looks to be breaking down. Um, on this chart, let's have a look at Bitcoin dominance. Uh, so Bitcoin dominance, uh, as I've been going on about now for a significant period of time, Bitcoin dominance is now uh, starting to move. Uh, and in my view, it wants probably around about 53% region. So that's um, where it's going. I think once it breaks above uh, this uh, area here of resistance, which is around about the kind of 48 48% mark, then it's just going to go straight, I would imagine, to 53%. Uh, and as I keep saying, the Bitcoin narrative is strong at the moment, very, very strong. Uh, so um, the likelihood is that that um, percentage of 50, uh, sorry, what was it? Um, 
yeah, 53% will likely be met pretty soon in the next few weeks uh, or so. Anyway, conclusion is that we are sitting, as I say, underneath this really kind of important area uh, of uh, resistance. And the question is, do we, number one, consolidate under resistance and then go uh, and break through it? So like this, uh, or two, uh, do we uh, come back uh, and test the 200 day moving average uh, and then go uh, at the moment what am i 75 80 percent um allocated now to bitcoin so for me i'm just going to wait see if we come down we test this area uh the 200 week which is about 25 7 at the moment 25 7 26 i mean if it comes down there i think that might be an opportunity uh to to take a position uh but you know Bitcoin narrative is strong at the moment, might not do that, might just decide to consolidate underneath resistance and then go. But anyway, either way, everything is looking pretty good um, at the moment. We've obviously got FOMO, the FOMC meeting on the 22nd. I, to be honest, I don't really think that's that relevant anymore. I think that the Fed are going to either um, hike by 25 basis points and then that's it and pause, or they're just going to pause. They can't go 50 basis points. It's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, to think that they would do that and anyone calling that probably uh, needs to uh, take a uh, psychiatric assessment <laughs> anyway there we are that that is the update for today hope you're well if you want to join the group uh, then the link is in the description reach out to me on twitter uh, check out our website it's a dollar a day it's very much worth it and it's um, a very decent community uh, equally, um, I've got um, some uh, good bonuses and giveaways uh, for BitCat, my sponsor. So have a look at that link in the description. All right. Take care. Have a good week. And I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.